I'll break it down with 40. Well, today we're visiting with Steve Clevenger, uh, recently called up and enjoying success again offensively here. Um, you've enjoyed success offensively throughout your whole career. Has there been one player that you tried to emulate that kind of helped you with that? Um, not really. I just, like I said, I just try to be myself and not try to do too much up at the plate. And, um, you know, the main thing of hitting is just getting a good pitch to hit, you know, and uh, not, you know, chasing some stuff in the dirt and up high. It's just mainly getting a pitch over the plate that you can handle. Well, you have a great batting eye, and you seem very controlled in the box. But I think a lot of hitting has to do with your bat path. Do you think about that much when you step in the box or during your pregame? Um, you know, my pregame, especially in uh, BP, you know, I try to work the other way sometimes. And then, you know, later in the round, I try to let my hands fly a little bit and, uh, you know, try to hit some homers. But, um, you know, I, during the game, I try to stay within my approach and, uh, you know, get a good pitch to hit and, uh, you know, just try to put barrel on it. So uh, you use the whole field. And you say you work on that in batting practice, but is there any pregame? Do you do things in the tunnel, like get off the tee or soft toss work? Um, you know, I like to do a lot of soft toss. You know, I'm not a big tee guy. Um, you know, the ball doesn't come in stationary, so I've never really believed in the tee, but I do do uh, side work and uh, front toss and everything like that, you know, just to, to work my hands a little bit and use, uh, you know, use my wrist. You know, that's the main thing of hitting is letting the ball travel in the zone. And uh, like I said, mainly getting a good pitch to hit and something that you can handle and knowing yourself. So you, uh, career, 3-10, 3-11 hitter in the minor leagues. You had some problems maybe because of lack of repetitions when you had your opportunities in the big leagues. But this year, you seem like a different player. I mean, you seem more relaxed. Is it maturity? Is it the repetitions? Um, you know, I think it's more maturity. You know, each year you play, you learn a little bit new, uh, some new stuff, you know, from new guys. And, um, you know, getting the opportunity to play every day up here in the big leagues is, is a big factor as well. Um, you know, the pitching's a little bit better here than it is in AAA and, you know, getting a repetition, but mainly it's, uh, you know, learning. Uh, learning how guys are going to pitch you and, um, you know, just staying with your approach. How about uh, if, if there was one thing that you know now that you didn't know back when you first signed, um, you put your finger on that, or is there something specifically if you could go back in time and had had that nugget? That you have now? Oh, definitely. Um, you know, my first couple years in the big leagues, I just, you know, I was chasing pitches out of the zone and, uh, you know, going up there not with an approach or a plan. You know, now, you know, I'm getting a little bit older and, and kind of learning, you know, how pitchers are going to pitch me and, uh, you know, the situation in the game kind of dictates on how they're going to pitch you or who's hitting behind you and things like that. Um, but mainly, like I said, the main thing is, is getting a really good pitch to hit and, and, you know, doing what you can do and staying within yourself. Well, you're certainly doing that. Steve Clevenger's having a great offensive year, had a great offensive year in AAA, and now taking advantage of another opportunity here with the Orioles. Thanks. <laughs>